Okay, I missed a line. Luckily, we can. Yes. Were you I missed. Doing now I've missed reports? two lines. Oh yeah. By the way, then guys, welcome clicking. to episode two of um, the Great Ace Attorney. I didn't um, introduce it. Stake, you don't have to reintroduce yourself. Um. All right. Very well. I am satisfied with your answers. Let us start the trial. Certainly, Your Excellency. So, without further ado, in order to better apprise the court with the facts of this case, the prosecution hereby calls its first witness, who was there at the scene of the crime when it happened. Ugh, this is it then. Hmm, I think I may have worked out what the professor had in mind. The professor? You mean Dr. Mikotoba? Yes, clearly you're the defense lawyer today, not me. But that doesn't mean... Well, I can still act as your assistant, after all. Please don't turn into a Maya face situ or a Mia face situation. Please don't turn into a Mia face situation. Ah! Of course. <laughs> also, I know I said no spoilers for the other Ace Attorney games, but you know what? It's the first mm -hmm. Ace Attorney game, and it's the first, second case. It's fine. It's also... Yeah, it's been Let's Played into, into, into Dust, so it's everywhere. Partial, yeah, partly why I'm not Let's Playing it. The other reason is because I've already played it so many times before. <laughs> mm. When he was speaking with me before, he simply said, Kazuma Asogi must not be the defense lawyer in this trial. He never said you couldn't help me out. <laughs> he really has been sticking his oar in, hasn't he? I have no idea what that means. Maybe, but any help you can give me... Wait, maybe... But any help you can give me would be greatly appreciated, Kazuma. Well, my first piece of advice is, rein in that crazy look of bewilderment and control the cold sweats. Only if you rein in that crazy headband and control the cold stares first. Glad I'm not the only one that noticed. <laughs> hey, someone closed the window already! <laughs> oh my god, it's... Oh, that's what you were referring to when you said close the window? <laughs> or... Yeah. <laughs> Witness, state your name and occupation for the court, please. I'm I'm sorry that my voice for him is so inconsistent. <laughs> Mine too. Do you want this this guy, or should I take this? Uh, guy? sure. What should I What should I give him? Um, he looks very proper and prim. <clears throat> ah, of course. My name is Satoru Hosanaga. I am the head waiter at the western-style restaurant called Le Carnaval. <coughs> He's dying of oh, cancer, God. apparently. Please don't More die like of consumption. cancer. Please don't die of cancer right in front of us, sir. Um, are oh, you alright? You seem to be co coughing up some... Uh... Oh, it's just the tuberculosis I called last year. It's a regular occurrence, it really doesn't bother me. Oh almost... god, he's Hyatt from Excel Saga. <laughs> well, it really, really should. <laughs> As everyone knows, the capital southeastern quarter was developed for foreign visitors some years ago. I'm trying to go based off Gaspin Payne's voice from um, Dual Destinies hmm. in that one cutscene where he actually has like a proper voice. Oh yeah, that's right. He does. It's become a very fashionable district now, full of hotels to accommodate overseas guests. This grim crime occurred in one of the district's so-called restaurants, an Occidental Eatery. Occidental. What does that mean? Oh, it means from the West. It's the opposite oh. of a certain other word that'll get you cancelled if you say it. Oriental? Ah, you said it! Okay, go ahead. Three days ago. Sorry. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with that word, but okay. Well, I don't either. Some people think it's racist, but it really ain't. It just means from the East. Any road. Understood. Osanaga-san, well, you will kindly tell the court everything you can about the incident. To be fair, or I else. haven't word th heard that word in forever. So Yeah, that's because no I one wants to use it. I didn't know that. I feel like at mm. least my mother would tell me if it wasn't, you know? If she had found out that it was no longer a proper word to use. Mm. Something so, like that. Did you, did you even voice that line? Eh, it's fine. Oh, that one, sir. And no petty mm, interjections from the aspiring lawyer boy, please. 
Oh, um, respiring maybe, but aspiring? <laughs> <clears throat> it was just after 2 p.m. on the day in question. We have a few diners that at that time of day. Sorry, we have very few diners at that time of day. The lunchtime rush was over, and then we were only playing The Clash instead, and there were only three tables still occupied. The Clash? Uh, the Rush and The Clash are both bands. Ah. That fits in with my memory of it, too. There was hardly anyone else in the place. Hmm. <coughs> hmm. It was when I was in the kitchen, putting up crockery and cutlery. A gunshot rang out, so I hurried out to the dining area to see what had happened. I found the victim, an English gentleman, slumped in his chair. Sorry, I'm gonna pause for a second. I wanna ask you if you wanna stick around for the whole LP or just this first, uh, case. Uh, time permitting, I do have to do some Uber and shit at some point this week. Gotta make money and such. Okay. How many, uh, recording days are you fixing to do? Um, this week I'm gonna be full. I'm gonna be full with videos. Once we finish this damn case, I'm gonna have okay. so many videos. Once we finish okay. half this case, I'm gonna have three episodes. Okay, good. Okay, so then I'll have some time to work and such. Yeah, yeah, I'm down, I'm down. I just gotta make sure my throat stays... I also I'm, might have I'm missed a line. Did you, um... um did you read the slump no, in his you're... chair part? Okay. Yes, I did. <clears throat> I've taken the liberty, sir. And standing immediately beside him, gun in hand, was the accused university student. Yes! Hold on, let me just clarify something here. Hold it! While I did pick up a gun that I found lying on the floor beside the professor, I... I didn't shoot him. Objection! <laughs> Objection! I believe I asked you to refrain from petty interjections. The court wishes to listen to the witness's report of what he saw, you amateur. I swear to god, my voice for this guy changes every time I do it. <laughs> I've got the same problem sometimes. But... <clears throat> the next time you interrupt at an inopportune time, you'll be penalized, pilgrim. Don't worry, Ryunosuke. You'll have your chance to fight back. For now, we must just quietly listen to the witness. Ugh. Hang on, got a Discord ping. Ping as usual, I see! Oh, hang on. What? Um. You know what? I'm gonna have to download that image and insert it into the video somewhere. What image? Um. I'll. I'm gonna download the image right now and then I'll, um. And then I'll, uh, let's see. I found a, uh, Tuesday, Tuesday thing. I'll, I'll send it to you, too. For now, we must quietly listen to the witness. Ugh. If I may confirm one point, waiter. I haven't even looked at it yet, by the way. Standing beside the victim with the gun in his hand was the same man we see here in court today. <coughs> oh, yes, it was him. I see. And apart from the accused, was there anyone else standing besides the victim? Also, as far as I know, I didn't skip that text, although, um... I managed see. to read it, and I managed to read it. <laughs> no idea. I and guess the bandana thing. The accused, was there hair. anyone else standing beside the victim? Sorry, I interrupted that. <coughs> <clears throat> I've taken the liberty. No. Stop saying that. I, you know I'm gonna cut that out, right? Every time you say that. <laughs> that's the, that's what they call a lead-in line or whatever the term is. Where I'm just trying to get the voice back into. My oh, head. okay. Okay. Yeah. So you do intend no me to else. cut it? Ah, oh, yes. Y yeah, if you if you'd like. Okay. There was no one else around that table but the deceased Englishman and the university student. Huh? Wait, what did he just say? There was no one else? Around that table? 
What's the matter, Ryunosuke? That's that's just not right. No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. When I went over to Dr. Wilson to say hello. No, that's wrong. There was a woman sitting opposite him at his table. Really? And that's not something the waiter could have missed. I've been warned about interjecting, but still, what should I do? Ooh. Okay, uh, interject, honestly, for but... this one, I... You think I should interject? Okay. Totally. Yes! Just a moment, please. I don't know what's wrong with my eyes. They keep moving them by themselves! <laughs> The, the, the animation, the animation budget. Oh god! <laughs> Dr. Wilson wasn't alone that day. Um, so, can I ask you something? Does that animation mm. ever stop, or is it throughout the entire game? Or does it stop after this know. first case? Are you asking the audience? Yeah, I'm sure of it. There was a lady sitting with him at the same table. Um, lady. I was asking both your memory and the audience. The audience can tell me that if that animation Honestly, plays I, throughout I, the whole game. All I remember is that uh, it's a bit. All I know I is that it's really it. long. Dear me, dear me, what are we going to do with you? With your blatant disregard for court proceedings, I'm beginning to wonder if you're not a fraud. Could it be that the accused, this mere student, is not a real lawyer after all? Um, haven't we established that I'm not? <laughs> Right? But I'm sure of what I saw. <laughs> Hosunaga-san, is there any chance you're mistaken? Perhaps your memory of events is hazy? No. The deceased gentleman came to dine alone. I don't believe it! It's unbelievable! Oh, that was the line I went on. Also, I, I guess. Yeah, alright. I actually have a rough plan to the restaurant as it was that day. Uh, I'm guessing that you. What, I, I get, what happened was, I think you alt tabbed out of it and then oh, you clicked back in and okay, interpreted scroll that. Wheel, as you scroll wheel. The scroll wheel does stuff too. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I actually. <clears throat> please look at. <clears throat> please have a look if you'd like. Oh, let me see. Ah, oh, sketch of the establishment's layout drawn by yourself, I presume. Okay. Thank God for the his. Thank Is God that... for the history feature in these new games. Right. That's right. I'm afraid I used the back of my business card. It was a turbulent situation. You did that. You did that much drawing on a business card. Those things are impossible to write on. <laughs> Must be one big ass business card. <laughs> However, as you can see, the gentleman was alone. Oh, oh I need it's to going stop. I need to stop scroll wheeling. Um. Anyway, well. I've decided which one I choose. I choose to have my. Table slaps amplified. <laughs> ah. What do Got you it. choose? <laughs> the bandana? <laughs> the bandana, but mostly so that my hair will stop uh, getting stuck on my neck sweat. Well, you're clearly a very conscientious waiter, which provides a plus two bonus to level when you're. <laughs> Warhammer. Thank you, sir. <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> it's a Warhammer Total War thing. The court will take this plan and add it to the court record as evidence. Hey, that wouldn't I fly in the states. I want to check something real quick. Haven't you ever heard of evidence discovery? Okay, there is there is a um yeah discovery is not a thing as far as I know. Yeah, I know. Um, autoplay is. Is that, a is that a decanter of alcohol? On the right hand side, it's uh, it's a mixing thing with the with the. So it's one of those things you use to shake cocktails. It's got a, it's got huh. a, a cup top of it. Did you already read this line? Or just a line? plain glass decanter. Yeah, I'll do it again if you'd like. No, no, Is no. Is there it's a fine. problem? And the plan of the court officer at once. I guess I'll combine the two. <clears throat> hmm, but of course, here you are. 
What was that about? He's been completely calm and collected until now. <coughs> Something certainly seems to have shaken him. <coughs> Sir, are you are you gonna be okay? Please don't die. It is so, the duty of a bottle. The court has now had heard a press. A <laughs> I had to look this up. I can't freaking remember how to pronounce it. Um, I think it's pretty. Hey, future Ben. Yeah. So the court Ice has green. now heard a pressy of the case. I think that's. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry if I screwed that up. It's a French thing. It's a f some sort of French pronunciation. Yeah, of course. At the moment, the gunshot was heard in the restaurant. The only person in close proximity to the victim was the defendant on trial today. No, but it wasn't me, though. It would seem we're looking at a black and white case here. I don't know, it looks pretty colorful to me. Sounds pretty fishy to me. Defendant Narahodo. Yes, Your Excellency? If you admit your guilt at this stage, the court is willing to look mercifully upon you. We'll make sure to kill you quickly instead of hanging you. In other words, you may have some small reprieve in terms of your inevitable punishment. Poohoo! We'll take, we'll take the death penalty off the table and make it life in prison instead. How does that sound? I called this waiter mm -hmm. as an unsworn witness in order to explain the details of the case to the Ouchie. court. Oh, right. For some, right. Thought, for some reason, I thought he was talking. <laughs> no, it's Ouchie. What's an unsworn witness? I don't know. Is that legal? I assume, I assume it meant someone who wasn't sworn in didn't take the oath. Fra <laughs> Scroll wheel, stop doing that. But I won the defense. If you are determined to pursue matters further in this trial, the prosecution has decisive evidence from sworn witnesses who were present at the scene of the crime. Then present How am I supposed to use Discord without the scroll wheel, or should I just use my damn phone? I'm gonna just use my phone. Discord got me howling at the moon. Okay, Ryunasuke. What do you think I should do, Kazuma? What do you mean? Well, I'm going to be found guilty one way or another, it seems. Wouldn't it be sensible to plead guilty at this stage and hope for a more lenient sentence? No. Everyone keeps telling me that this trial is unusual about these peculiarities. You've said it, Professor- You've said it, Professor Mikotoba's said it, and so has the judge and the prosecution. I don't know what to do. I'm scared of what lies ahead if I push this. As I said from the outset, I believe you're innocent. I trust you. And yet, despite knowing that, you're willing now to throw that trust back in my face? Is that it? Gonna what? Throw something in your face. If the accused is in fact innocent, then a defense lawyer is duty-bound to prove that innocence by whatever means necessary. I like Kazuma. He reminds me a lot of Mia. Like, he's a male Mia. Are you just going to abandon that duty? Are you going to give up on yourself? He's like a mix of, um, Mia and, uh, Kristoff, except minus the, um... Wait, I can't say that. Spoilers, but... <laughs> Hmm. We all know what happens to Kristoff. The battle hasn't even begun yet, Rinosuke. Smack. The defense pleads not guilty, Your Excellency. We invite the prosecution to stop making empty threats and bring out its witnesses. <laughs> then we'll see just how decisive this evidence really is. Do -do -do. <clears throat> Indeed! Prosecutor Ouchie, please continue with proceedings. I'm gonna have another drink. Okay. Yeah, well, you were warned. The young can be so reckless.
You know, many call me a saint, but I can be a devil when I want to be. Uh... Oh, yeah, well. In a few short moments from now, that dumbstruck young mouth of yours will be silenced forever. The prosecution calls its next witnesses. Okay, you get... Very well, officer. Oh, bugger. You choose... You choose which witness you wanna <laughs> do. Yep, two witnesses on the stand at once. <laughs> witnesses, do kindly the state man. your names and occupations for the court. Yes, sir! The Great Nippon Imperial Army Sergeant Iesa Nosa reporting for duty, sir. Yeah. Myself, I find employ as a purveyor of fine articles of antiquity from the afflorations of our nation, Nippon. I own a pawn shop with my grandchildren, son and son, and conduct my trade from Rasute, a humble premises in the second district. Curio Kodakuta, at your so Oh, I get it. Curio, like a curio shop. Yeah. <laughs> an antique dealer and a soldier. What an unusual pairing. Like red wine and steak. Or white wine and steak. Both of these gentlemen were present at the restaurant on the day in question. They must be the diners at the other table that the waiter mentioned. Myself, I uh, habitually take tea at the most exquisite aroma at the establishment in question. Always post noon. This guy's gonna be like Java Chino Man, huh? And <laughs> not infrequently. Converse with interested parties regarding the curios with which I make my business. Also, several prints of the fisherman's wife. I can't understand the word that old man is saying. Yeah? He's an Where antique dealer, and it sounds like he's a regular at La Carnival. <laughs> he seeks out potential customers who may have an interest in antiques and tries to sell his wares to them. He obviously targets the carnival because it's a high-class restaurant with rich clientele. Right, I see. Although, to be honest... That sergeant looks more like he'd be a seller rather than a buyer. Now, you both witnessed the precise moment of this most atrocious incident. Is that correct? Affirmative! The enemy unit was seen attacking the foreigner in what can only be described as an act of war, sir! This guy kind of looks like a, a German fi pi fighter pilot from World War <laughs> he One. He does! It was that black it was that black uniformed rogue infantryman over there who unloaded his firearm, sir! This man's as impossible to understand as the other. No, I'd say he's easier to understand, but that's just me. But I'm almost sure I heard a strange noise during that last thing he said. So, this is the decisive evidence the prosecution was threatening. The soldier is claiming that he actually saw the precise moment you shot the victim dead. Yes. Well, are you starting to feel uncomfortable? If I'm honest, I was feeling uncomfortable from the start. <laughs> I was literally going to ad limit and just say, starting, question <laughs> mark. <laughs> well that's why we get why am I you moments in these kind of in these kind of situations. <laughs> now the court will hear your form formal testimony, please. I better drink some water. Good for you. You will state everything you saw at the precise moment that the incident occurred. I'm not drinking as much water as I had to during that last recording. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Is that a Standing by ready to report, <laughs> sir. I plead the fifth on that one. Did you hear that? <laughs> yes, I did hear it. <laughs> um, unsavory mo memories of a most acerbic afternoon. <laughs> what does acerbic <laughs> mean? Uh, the exact definition I don't remember, but it's it's it, it's a it's a negative thing. What the witnesses saw. I was ingesting a regulation beef steak at the restaurant while having a tactical discussion with the old man. What? 
Myself, I was extolling the virtues of a particularly fine golden curio to the military gentleman. It was owned by Hideyoshi himself! At that precise moment, a firearm was discharged. I observed the enemy's actions with my own eyes. It's either a baby or a dying cat. <laughs> Something like that. It's not coming from my end, is it? No, no, it's literally from the game. <laughs> Just in case ah. you weren't sure. I was confused too. The black uniformed varsity cadet fired on the English civilian, and from the back, the cowardly little weasel. Oh, I'm seeing something already. I was on my hands and knees, investigating the whereabouts of my mysterious, absconded, precious cure. You're under the table, how'd you see shit? Oh, darn it. It's fine, you can say shit. Okay. Well, so you, Sergeant Nosa, actually witnessed the vital moment. You saw the split second when the defendant fired the weapon at the victim. In fact, I'm pretty sure I called uh, Narahoto a dumb shit earlier when he said he didn't know oh, what, mm -hmm. um, what, Fair um, enough. something was. I don't remember what, what he didn't remember, but I was like, oh, dumb. Fair enough. Smack. Yes, sir. Affirmative, sir. That wicked university cadet, sir. The cruel and unforgivable enemy. What is that sound coming from behind my back? Hey, who told this man he could bring a weapon into the court? Whips only! What <laughs> times we live in when an English gentleman may be assailed in the broad light of day. But, but this is ridiculous. I didn't shoot anyone. Is that really true, Ryunosuke? <clears throat> Yes, all I did was pick up the gun that I saw lying on the floor. He must be related to Edgeworth. He's habitually touching murder weapons. <laughs> well, after I'd said hello to Dr. Wilson, I went back to my table and sat drinking some coffee. Mmm, coffee. Then when I'd finished, I got up from my seat to leave the restaurant. When I noticed an English-made gun next to the chair where the professor was sitting. This is this is the new suspense theme. I'm not a huge fan of it. Sounds more like something out of a out of a trailer for a movie that's been done by Hans Zimmer. Yeah. I thought like, perhaps it, all it's missing is the dropped it. Sorry, what'd you say? All it's missing is the So I bent down and just as I was picking it up. Bang. It went off. By accident. Because I threw it on the ground. And I must have killed my father with it. <laughs> oh dear god. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help but reference that. <laughs> well, if that's the truth, there was obviously a criminal on the scene somewhere, and it wasn't you. And somewhere in these two witnesses' testimonies, there's a clue as to who that criminal was. There is? There I is? Mean, I've, already, I've already spotted something. Rinosuke, you must exercise your right to cross-examine the witnesses. Cross-examine? Do it now! I... Why do I have to exercise... Why do I even have to say anything at all? Shouldn't it just be a thing that automatically happens? Alright, anyway. As we have heard, Your Excellency, there is no room for doubt in the testimony of this, these witnesses. The defendant is clearly guilty. That That's a, um... That's a problem with this entire series, actually. <laughs> mm -hmm. The fact that you have to ask for your cross-examination. Instead right. of it just being a thing you do. It is time to bring this despicable student to justice. Certainly. The testimony of the court just heard eliminates any vestiges of doubt. Are you sure Therefore... about that, Your Honor? Yes. No! Let me have another drink. <laughs> Therefore, it is my grave duty to... What in the name of... Ah! Sorry, I skipping. pressed the wrong button. Alright, sorry, we have a lot to... Are you are you played by Peter Falk or something? <laughs> if you haven't seen The Great Race yet, watch it. Therefore, it is my grave duty to declare the verdict of this trip. Yes! What in the name of Charaz Nabel is the meaning of this outburst? I am, uh, I mean the defense demands its right to a cross-examination. 
<clears throat> dear me, dear me! Let me guess. The Hajimaki headband boy next door told me to do it. How pathetic. Huh? How did he know? The prosecution objects. This is a clear waste of time. The defendant obviously has no experience. How can he possibly carry out a cross-examination? He obviously watched the VOD. The defense is asserting its right to a cross-examination. Whether or not you think he's capable of it is irrelevant. No. Kazuma is so commanding. Very well. <clears throat> Very well. Let the defense conduct a cross-examination of the witness. I gotta pour myself some more scotch. Okay. Alright, this is where the battle really begins, Ryunosuke. But I don't even know what I have to do in a cross-examination. Oh, you dumb. Isn't it obvious? You have to expose the lies in the witness's statements. How? You didn't fire the gun, which means what that soldier said has to be a lie. Well, yes, but... It's just a case of proving it. And the key to doing that is evidence. Right, evidence. I noticed they don't give you an option to skip some of the part parts of the tutorial, but they are subtly different than yeah, they were before. Bummer. So I guess it's a good thing. All you need mm. to do is present some decisive and indisputable evidence that proves the witness is lying. Now let's go, Ryunosuke. Don't let them beat you. By the way, I'm not getting this video up tonight, that's for sure. <laughs> right. Alright then, it's all or nothing. Well, this one certainly not, but I meant the first one. Also, that looked a bit like Apollo Justice for a second there. I don't know why. A little bit. What the witnesses saw. I want to call this guy Pierre. Okay, tell me what to do. Do you remember the uh, testimony? Press everything. Press or everything? Do you want to press everything, or do you want to... I mean, or do you want to spend go, on this? You, you, you saw an obvious one. Do you want to present that? Yeah, right on yeah let's do that. Yeah, okay. sure, let's do that. Uh, myself next. Next. Here, this one. Okay, so now if you can go into Okay, evidence, so now what do I present? This is a picture. You. Okay. He was shot through the front. Yes! The music okay, went this, away. This part pissed me off a little bit because Ryunosuke is really bad at making his point here and Kazuma has to do it for him and that pissed me off. Oh I'm like, lord. I was like, oh my god, just tell what the problem is. Yeah. Hey. What? What are you playing at, cadet? What is the meaning of this subordination? Thrusting some photographic print in my mustache. In inconsistency, sir. Oh God. I mean, yes. <laughs> hey, at least it's not like um. It, at least it's not like Phoenix picking up the hmm yes from that cre creepy guy. I mean, yes. Oh, there's a clear Lord. inconsistency here. Heh, <laughs> What nonsense. What can this print possibly tell us that we don't already know? Is this gonna be a spot the pixel? Well, obviously, that, um... I know what I want to say, but the words just won't come out of my mouth. I'm trying! He won't come out! Hmm. I think this proves beyond any doubt, Your Excellency, that there is no place for an amateur student here in this grand courtroom. Well, then, by all means, let him go. If he doesn't belong here, just uh, send him on his way. Hmm. Arg! So frustrating. You know what's really frustrating? The fact that you're a dumbass. <laughs> and can't think for yourself. Schmack. Oh, please. Surely this doesn't require an explanation. It couldn't be more plain. Then why can't Naruho... Then why can't Ryunosuke say it? Uh, to because spell it out would be an insult to the court. Sorry. Hmm. Because what? Nervous hero trope. Ah. Kazuma, what? What are you talking about? 
It's apparent from a single glance at the photographic print presented by the defense that there's a clear discrepancy here with the sergeant's statement. Hmm. What? what? Sergeant now? Yesa Nosa. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> yes sir, no sir! <laughs> Even the Japanese names are a pun! God damn it! Oh. Yes and no sir! Oh. Excuse me! <laughs> I got it as soon as you got it, and I was like, I was gonna say something, but then you did your little groan, and I was like, oh god. Yes sir! What sir? Not the statement you just made was this. The black uniform varsity cadet fired on the English civilian, and from the back, the cowardly little weasel. That's what you said. Yes, sir. Affirmative, sir. I witnessed the crime with my own military-grade eyes, sir. Then you better get them checked. Yes! <clears throat> but no, that just can't be. And why not, cadet? Because... 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 <sighs> Save me, senpai! Take a close look at the print. I'm tired of, look of Narihodo's antics. The victim, Dr. Wilson, died from a bullet wound to the chest. <clears throat> ah. <clears throat> Sorry, let me do that again. Ah. Sergeant, according to your witness statement, the culprit shot the victim from behind. And that is the obvious discrepancy here. Well, how do you explain it? We might not act. We might actually not be done by the with this ah! case by the time I have to leave. Um. Um. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, um. Uh. Well. Uh, got, mm, th mm. Did I hallucinate what? that just now? <laughs> what was that? Something just popped up from behind his back, but he pushed it down again. Certainly, there is a clear discrepancy with the facts here. Would you not agree, Sergeant Nosa? <laughs> to that name. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. At this juncture, that would appear to be indisputable. <laughs> Un until the moment I heard the firearm discharge, my eyes were... Firmly fixed on the delicious La Carnival snake steak, sir. Snake, snake, <laughs> snake. <laughs> what? The last testimony the court heard has proven one thing beyond all reasonable doubt. This witness, Sergeant Yesa No, sir, did not see the defendant firing a gun at all. Ugh, that's that's absurd. And that voice is doing a number on my throat. Mm. I think the conclusion we must draw is simple. There is no place for an amateur prosecutor here in this grand courtroom. Burn! Burn! <laughs> yeah! There's been a complete... There's been a complete turnabout in the mood of this trial, just from that one discrepancy. Turnabouts in an Ace Attorney game? What? Actually, I don't think the episode had turnabout in the name. In the... So this is what being an Ace Attorney is all about. Roll credits. Ding! <laughs> but, but I definitely saw him. That university cadet there! He was pointing the firearm directly at the victim's back! Yeah, which means he didn't... If he was pointing it at his back, then he couldn't have shot him. Alright, whatever. Yes. But I never fired the gun! All I did was pick it up off the floor. <laughs> hmm... And you, old man. You didn't see the moment the victim was shot, either. Myself, I, uh, I have already been quite clear. The gunshot interested me not, 
I was far too busy on the floor. Too busy on the floor? Sorry, what were you doing? Everybody walked the dinosaur, hunting for treasure. Treasure? <laughs> Whoa! Indeed, the Hoei Area Koban, my prize coin! Era, yeah. I, I struggled with that too. <laughs> On each occasion when I visit the restaurant, it is my habit too, to place my bosom pocket a particular trinket of interest for my shop, Rasute. In the hope of meeting a rich diner who might like to buy it from you? <laughs> On the day under scrutiny, it was to the military man that I proffered my Hoei treasure. By the way, the Hoei period was from 1704 to 1711. Believe that he would purchase such a rare find, I did not, but I was presented with little alternative. <laughs> and then... After reverting my eyes with the briefest of moments, <laughs> there was a pretty lady! It was there no more, it simply vanished! The Koban vanished? Hunting around the table I was, in case may happen it fallen there, and then it happened. <laughs> you heard the gunshot, you mean? Indeed I did! But I heeded it not. I was concerned only with finding my absconded hoy treasure and where's that dump truck coming from? <laughs> I hope you can't hear that. I can, by Nothing the way. Nothing could distract me. Recording. Oh, sorry. Retake that line, by the way. Nothing could distract me. Okay. Except maybe... Out of interest, did you find the coin in the end? No. Hmm, I see. <laughs> that lamentable day, my precious, my precious Hoei Koban was lost to me. <laughs> no doubt some unscrupulous scoundrel pocketed the prize coin for himself. I have a feeling it's the sergeant. I don't know why. Just because the way they're looking at each other, but right? Like he's looking at yeah, him. And... But that's that's not the that's not the crime on trial here. <laughs> right, right. As I'm sure everyone present is aware. Any theories as to who actually killed the um killed the professor yet? I think the butler did it. This case demands a swift and decisive resolution. Ah, you mean the waiter? Yeah, that too. Our government has promised to send a full report to Great Britain by telegraph this very afternoon. <clears throat> Nevertheless, the witness testimony the court has just heard was inconclusive. No matter how subservient her government feels it must be to the British, it would be unforgivable to deliver a verdict on this trial right now. Well, what is your position, Prosecutor Ouchie? <laughs> Worry not, Your Excellency. The defendant may have fled a tiger at the front gate, but he will find a wolf at the back. My witnesses have further testimony to make. Explain! Explain, soldier! Upon hearing their next statements, it will become abundantly clear that there is only one person who could possibly have committed this despicable crime. Despicable. Equally despicable defendant, Ryunosuke Narahodo. I'm going to flow for copyright infringement. I... <laughs> I can't wait to get rid... to be done with these Japanese names, or at least get a small break from it. <sighs> he really seems to have a despicable opinion of you, doesn't he? Uh... Very well, the court invites the witnesses to testify again. 
You will thoroughly explain the reasoning behind the prosecution's allegations. Hey, bailiff, I need you to refill my decanter. Is that clear? As clear as Kiriko Glass, Your Excellency. <laughs> yes, sir. At once, sir. Awaiting signal to testify, sir. <laughs> oh, dear God. Um, excuse me, but there's something, or someone, peeking out over your shoulder, I think. Affirmative! The newest memory of the Nosa family to rise up through the ranks. Sir, name? Ido. I need to take off my glasses, because I need to face palm. Oh. <sighs> Ido? I don't know, sir. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Dang it. No, I almost, I almost didn't want to understand that pun. <laughs> hmm, it would seem those straps are a sign of the sergeant being too strapped to afford a nanny. I do ten shun! <laughs> I don't know how else to say that line. It's a double pun. I don't know, sir. And then, <laughs> and then, at attention. Your father is about Ow. to quell the enemy. Watch and learn, my boy. My boy. <laughs> my boy. Once I gotta fix my hair. It's in my eyes. There we go. Even if what I saw wasn't the precise moment the firearm was discharged, it's almost the same thing. Okay, we're a bit past <laughs> the halfway point now. Okay. Yes, Bonnie is good at the forward man he was. That young lad in black. That much I myself did see. Furthermore, a visual search of the premises at the time confirmed that he, we were the only personnel present. Indeed! Alone he was, the Englishman, dining all by himself. Therefore, no one other than the black uniformed cadet could have dispatched the Englishman. Over and out! That's not actually- What? The radio hasn't been invented yet?! <laughs> yes! Huh, these testimonies. <sighs> Okay, let's see. Wait, that's nonsense. The victim, Dr. Wilson, wasn't alone at all. Please, enough of these outbursts already. But there was a woman. There was a young woman at his table. There was a man before. There. You must have seen her. Everyone there must have seen her. Objection! If you call yourself a lawyer, then you will respect the rules of the court and speak accordingly. We are not here to listen to your fantasies. Ugh. It is evident beyond all reasonable doubt that the victim was alone at the time of the incident. The prosecution has photographic evidence of this fact. Is this a photograph? Blech. Is this a photographic print of the scene of the crime council? Indeed, of the table at which the victim was dining, taken by an investigator immediately after the incident. As can plainly be seen, there is only one place set. I'm seeing something wrong here already. Certainly, based on the appearance of this print, if you're thinking what I'm thinking, they have a really, really, really roundabout way of, of getting to that conclusion. Lovely. It would be reasonable to conclude that the victim was not in the company of anyone else. Arg, this doesn't make any sense. The court will add this new photographic evidence to the record. The photographic print of the crime scene has been entered in the court record. I don't think we need the voice on the slides. <laughs> I just felt like it for some reason, I don't know. I don't understand. What's going on here? <clears throat> Man, I certainly do resemble someone in 2016. Her hairstyle kind of reminds me of uh, Detective Conan, her... Um, Kudo Shinichi's mom, Yukiko, has the same exact hair buns. Huh. It's just not possible that anyone else saw that woman. But I know I did. The waiter before said the same thing. 
He maintains that Dr. Wilson came to the restaurant alone as well. But that's not true! I, I saw her! I swear that I saw a woman with him! Sour, more like dinner. It would seem that we'll be able to telegraph the report to Great Britain on time after all. The witness testimonies we just heard leave no room for doubt. Holy crap, I just realized what time it is. We're gonna have to finish the first half of this case in the next episode. Alright! See you well, guys. Thanks for having then. me over. Laters! <laughs>